Hi everyone, uh, this is Dr. Anita, consultant microbiologist and topic for uh, today's lecture is antigen antibody reaction. So moving on to the lecture preview, uh, today I will be discussing about introduction about antigen antibody reaction and general properties of antigen antibody reaction and what is uh, lattice hypothesis and types of antigen antibody reactions like a broad class, broadly classified into conventional immunoassays and newer techniques and conventional immunoassays includes precipitation, agglutination reaction, complement fixation and neutralization test. So all these points we will look in detail today. So moving on to the introduction. So antigen antibody reaction is a bimolecular association that is the reaction that occurs between antigen and antibody. It is a bimolecular association between the antigen and antibody. Usually antigen and antibody combine with each other specifically and in an absorbable manner. So we should remember the word specifically because the antigen specifically combines with antibody. So and, and it, it is in an absorbable manner. So antigen and antibody combines with each other specifically and in an absorbable manner. And it usually does not lead to an irreversible alteration in either antibody or an antigen. So in this way, it differs from enzyme substrate reaction. So two things we need to remember, like antigen and antibody combine with each other specifically and in an absorbable manner. So what are the general properties of antigen antibody reactions? So first and foremost is specific, that is antigen antibody reactions involve specific interaction between epitope of an antigen and corresponding paratope of its homologous antibody. So as we all know that epitope is an antigenic determinant. So the antigen con can contain many antigenic determinants that each determinant antigenic determinant is called epitope. The co this combines with the corresponding paratope. Paratope is present in the antibody. So this epitope of an antigen will combine with paratope of an antibody. So th there would be a specific interaction between epitope and the paratope. And next one is non-covalent interaction. Actually it requires, th that is the antigen antibody reactions requires formation of large number of non-covalent interactions between antigen and antibody through hydrogen bonds, electrostatic interactions and hydrophobic interaction and van der Waals forces. So the antigen and antibody requires reaction requires a formation of large number of non-covalent interaction. The second point. The third one is strength. So here we should know about what is affinity and what is avidity. Affinity of antigen antibody reaction is nothing but that is the interaction that occurs between a single epitope with a single paratope. So when a single epitope of an antigen combines with corresponding paratope present on antibody, that is affinity, that is single epitope with single paratope. Whereas avidity is nothing but affinities of all binding sites with multivalent antibody reacts with a complex antigen. So complex antigen is nothing but the antigen that contains multiple epitopes. Whereas multivalent antibody, the example is pentavalent IgM, I, immunoglobulin IgM. So IgM antibodies are pentavalent which contains multiple valency. So that kind of antibodies can bind with comple complex antigen. The total strength of such antigen antibody reaction is called avidity. So let me explain in the upcoming slide. So this is a structure of antibody showing antigen binding site in the antibody. So this is the light chain and these are the heavy chains. So here you can see the antigen binding site. So this could be the paratope of an antibody. When an antigen comes and binds here, the epitope of antigen will bind with this and uh, paratope of the antibody. So here you can clearly see this is affinity. Here this is a antigen antigen containing single epitope, the single epitope binds with single paratope in the antigen binding site of the antibody. So this is called affinity, whereas with both sides, so multiple epitopes, here one epitope, here another epitope, this binds with paratopes of the antibody. The total strength is called avidity. So here you can see, suppose this is a complex antigen containing multiple epitopes 
So these multiple epitopes binds with multivalent antibodies. This could be a pentavalent IgM antibody which contains multiple valencies. So here this complex antigen binds with paratops in the paratops in the multivalent IgM antibody. So this total strength is called avidity. Whereas single epitope with single paratope is called affinity. This to total combined strength is called avidity.